Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Got a full house on. Got quite a bit to talk about from uh, Shrewsbury Town game. Andy in Brett Corner. Dave, and always nice of James on. It's been a while, James, but always great to have your thoughts on that. Appreciate you taking time out. Come to you, Dave, first. I mean, where do we start? Referee didn't tell matters with game. Uh, we want it as best. So take back for granted. Elbows going in. It was a a shit house here the game kind of thing to, if I'm if I'm being honest uh day but what we are taking it from 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 first day I mean you know with people calling for certain changes being made Max Watters and all the stuff like that but I mean first half what, what did you make in it Dave? Uh well I was expecting a you know a reply to to Friday um done proper by the ref didn't help ourselves by you know not playing the standards we can play um you know, against um, 11 men, we didn't deserve to win that game. Um, against 10, it might have been a different matter. If we'd have had that decision, it could have changed the whole, you know, the whole course of the game. But, um, you know, we, we needed to bounce back with a big reply, like we did after the Exeter game against Morecambe. And I was expecting something very similar. I mean, Shrewsbury had been on a bit of a poor run of late. They got hammered, didn't they, at Charlton 6-0. Mm. And I think they lost 3-0 in the last last home game, was it, to somebody? I forget who it was now. But um, yeah, the shipping goals left, right, and centre. And I thought, you know, going to be mad, mad as hell after that performance. I mean, if, if I'd have been in the team Friday, you know what, you know what we went through, I'd have been, I'd have been right up for it yesterday, and I'd have just been that all guns blazing from the first whistle. Mm. Um, wasn't the case, unfortunately. Um, sat off for the first few minutes, looked okay, and then it just sort of like it just fell flat. Um, the, the, the basics weren't there yesterday again. The passing was too heavy. Um, it was misplaced passing. Um, I thought Phillips did well in the first half. He's had a couple of um, quiet games, and which is why I think he was rightly dropped a few back. Um, he looked a bit better, but there was there was nothing really for the first half hour, and um, you know then we picked ourselves up and started creating chances. But we were just too wasteful when we made them, you know. I was speaking to James on social media and, he, you know, we should have been five or six up at half time yesterday. You know, we mm. just, you know, misplaced passing in the final third, poor finishing. A um, little unlucky for that flick by Cole. But um, I just thought until the 40th minute it's going to be another, another replay of the Wickham game, you know, hanging on, you know, trying to do something until the last few minutes and then maybe sneaking a winner. But... You know, we got those two before half time, and it um, it should have changed the whole course of the game, but it didn't. And you know, that first half wasn't helped by the referee blowing his whistle mm. left, right, and centre. And you know, Shrewsbury came with a game plan yesterday. They came with a plan to hit us on the break and just hit us because yeah. they were dirty, literally dirty, dirty, proper dirty team they were. And mm. the referee just didn't nip it in the bud when he should have done. And I knew as soon as the elbow started flying, and our players, when I, when I saw Mads get wound up after that elbow, and he yeah. split his nose, it was just inevitable that there was going to be a, a big scrap at some point in the game. And I'm just mm. surprised it took long to happen. But yeah, the first half, we didn't help ourselves, but the referee didn't help us either. Yeah. I mean, James, just like following on what Dave was saying there, and I, I kind of agree with it, is that referee. It didn't help matters, and you know when Bobby Thomas he went down first, he got up, and you know you could tell bounds, you know some bounds of players were like riles, and it, you know losing the rag. And again, had, uh, when Mads went down, it ended up being bandaged up. You just knew that elbow were flying in, ref weren't putting stuff up. It was, it were a, a scrappy game, it were a flat game, and even certain sections at Ponte it were pretty quiet. You know what I mean? It were things that things happening, but not footballing matters. It were like. Like I said, like what they were on about, tackles are going in, elbows are going in. Should be were here to do a job and you know rough us up kind of thing, James. Yeah, exactly. I think the ref was shocking because he should have pulled it up a lot earlier. If he didn't, he didn't give a yellow card out. He let it go on and on and on, and it was inevitable what was going to happen. What was going to happen in the first place? But yeah, I thought the ref completely lost the plot. And um, the more we did it, the more worse it got later on. Some of the challenges they did second half as well were, were, were even worse than what one we got a red card for, so yeah, yeah it's I mean completely awful performance from a referee. I'm, I mean for me, James, it's like with referee 
people like say, oh yeah, but you know, linesmen won't help in helping linesmen, uh, linesmen won't help in uh, referee art. But a lot of stuff over here, what well, well, basic referee errors, what well, we're letting things go, you won't clamping down it, and someone could have potentially been seriously injured later on. Exactly, exactly. It's it's um it's just terrible, but we, we've not really had many great officials recently as well. It's um you just can't leave it that long before you get a yellow card. You've got a you've got to show, listen, that's not tolerated and give him a yellow card. Or, But I reckon we should have had a couple, couple of reds as well because some of the challenges going in were absolutely awful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, going to second half, uh, Andy, what Jim, Jim's just been touching on there. First half, it, you know, you could say something going to bubble over and it did. Obviously, Nicky Cadden, you know, uh, from outside, he, he managed to ping one off. But for me... Karen getting sent off, it didn't look red. It looked like he just lost his footing and it yeah. wasn't malicious. But for some reason, he got a red. And But not long since after that, one of our players got more or less bolted up into dugout where Michael Duff was and it gets yellow. And it's like inconsistency yet again there. Ah, oh, well, just going to say that, that's what it is. Uh, referees being inconsistent. Uh, I've had a look at red card at Cadden's and... I can't. I mean, I don't know if I'm biased or what, like, but I don't think I, it helped don't think... when actual should be town players all all to a man went straight right ref. Gain it there. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't. I don't think it was red. Like, I might be biased, but I don't think it was. Um, and tackles, like we've just said, uh, tackles that they were throwing in. Um, if Cadden's were red, then um, a lot more were. So. You know, you've got to remain consistent and that referee was shocking. Didn't talk game at all. Uh, I agree with what everybody said. Um, scrappy game. It, it was like a game that, when you mention League One, it's like a game that you immediately think about. Um, it, it was like a typical League One game for me. Um, not really much quality, was there really? Um, but didn't talk matters. We... Uh, Shrewsbury uh, players tactics wasting time and obviously uh, referee but I thought we looked a bit leggy as well to be honest um, but yeah that, that's my take on it um, I'm, I'm just glad we pulled through it because um, this time of season it's, it's results and it what matters more than performance and uh, that was to show that game yeah, fair point, uh, Andy. I mean, I don't think you're biased at all, mate. I mean, I've I've looked back on it a few times, and for me, it it, it won't weigh any intent on that yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tackles going off at first stave, elbows going in, you know, Mads way bandaged up, and then it will carry, carry on to second half. And for me, it, it could have been nipped in but over, it could have been possibly red cards in first half, but mm-hmm. it went to uh, bubble over. I mean, just going back, Dave, at second half, I mean, 2 0 no up. Probably, I wouldn't say look comfortable, but we, we looked as if we could hold his own. But when sending off happened, it gave shoes be tight. They set, you know, send us a veil to the tactics and formation. You could tell what we're going for. Uh, well, you know, we're going to by any means necessary, we're going to try and get free kicks or possibly penalties. And I think we even tried appealing. I think it was a clash reds with Bobby Thomas, if I'm right. And we tried appealing for a penalty. And it was like, really, come on. And you could tell what the they were going for Dave. Yeah, they were. You know, I don't think we looked comfortable at any point in the game yesterday, apart from the fact that they didn't look a threat, and they didn't look mm. a threat until you know the last 10, 15 minutes or so, or you know, with the injury time as well, probably say the last twenty. But it did it changed the course of the game when Cadden got the got the red card, and like I said before, you know, if. Um, Brayford gets sent off on Friday. That can change the course of the game, you know. Yeah. And um, we've been robbed of potential three points there. And the red cards robbed us of probably can for three games now, unless the club appeal it, which is going to be a massive loss. And do you think clubs should appeal it, Dave? I, 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 definitely. No, Andy's not yeah. being biased. That is never a red, never. No. You know, you know, and like um, this, what was said, the, the challenge was after it. That one um, where they put um, him into the bloody dugout, and mm. um, there were siding players down left, right, and centre, and mm. I just couldn't believe that he wasn't given. You know, I couldn't believe that the challenge after Cadden wasn't given the red. 
like we said there, no consistency. And when you've got these decisions going against you, it's frustrating. Mads was frustrated in the first half, and that's just going to be bubbling for the rest of the game. And then when you've got incidents like this happening, it's just going to make the players even worse. And you see red, and you, you, I think you just start to panic because you can see that the ref's given everything against you, and you don't want to put mm-hmm. a challenge in in case you get sent off as well, because you know mm-hmm. you're gonna, you know you're gonna potentially lose the game for the club. You're gonna lose matches in the running now with suspensions. So that, you know the, the players didn't want to put. You can see they were backing out of challenges after that because they didn't know what the ref was going to do, and you know it was it was literally hanging on on the ropes for the last, you know, five, ten minutes of normal time and then injury time until there was that inevitable fracas. But, mm. you know, when, when, you, when you're doing whatever you do, you know, if, you're, if things are going well and, you know, things are fair and, you know, everything's sunny, happy, happy days, but as soon as things start going against you, you know, no matter what you do for work or for you know, anything, as soon as things start piling up against you, you just... You lose the your momentum. You lose your attitude. Goes it changes, and you know it's it literally was the you know I I think we could have kept on going yesterday after Cousins card, and um, you know just carried on playing the way we were doing. But obviously they changed around a little bit and started sitting off on the ball and defending. And I don't think that was the right thing to do against um, the poor Shrewsbury team. You know they should have been more positive. And then you're not going to be on the ropes if you keep the ball in the opposition half. You know they're not going to get chances, but I think they were they were too negative after the after the red card. But you know, no one knew what the referee was going to do, so you know it completely changes every player's outlook. And at, at the end of the day, I think um, you know justice was done result wise, but um, hmm. not red card wise. They got a red card, but you got a red card, but it's not going to bother them as much as it's going to bother us. And the club should yeah. definitely appeal that red card. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, just going to red card situation via uh, James. Like, like Dave said, and like what both Andy said as well. It's incon- you know inconsistency with referees and stuff like that. But you know, you, you look when they went down ten men and that one because again, the, the game had gone, the, the plot had gone, and ref didn't tell one bit. And I think, but uh, well, Bobby Thomas got chucked at ground, and then ref uh, Lino come over. I think at one point Steve Cottrell got a yellow card or book, you know, I think he had words to. So he could tell it would gain out of hand. It would gain out of hand. And for me, with Bobby Thomas going down, she getting chucked down to the floor, you knew it weren't going to end there. And it, come full time, you know, we're still having to go at Bobby Thomas. And I think it were no, I wouldn't look Thomas, but end up going running over to drag him away. So again, it mm. were it were it were tactics which should be wanted to do, it was just like Ryler's. And just get in and monster and just make it a fight, even not a footballing fight, boy James. Yeah, I think I think that was their plan all along because they knew they probably weren't good enough to beat us on footballing wise. So I thought they were gonna try and get 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 in our heads, try and get us a bit frustrated. And I think that's what they wanted to do. But um we just we the ref, ref, ref lost control and allowed it to happen too often, and I think I think ref's got to take full responsibility responsibility for that because that was just awful. So, off. I mean, awful by official Andy. For me, again, it won't. We won't at races. It won't performance, but it were a win. And if you go for a win, yeah, you can take it into Forest Green and look, you know we've got two away games. And again, Forest Green and Lincoln City. I'm looking at here. Saturday and the Tuesday, yeah. two tricky ties away, and you know, I'm hoping club like what Dave touched on before, and I think we all agree on this. Hope club do appeal against Cadden's red card. If things like that can define us, like red card, but they should have got what we should have uh, benefited from. Sorry, against Burton with it, you know, yeah. with them and balling it. Things like that could define our season for automatic and there's a lot of financial, you know, losses potentially involved in it with uh, automatic and playoffs. So going into, you know, how it panned out even after full time, were you, were you ever concerned that there could be more red cards, Andy? You know, it could be, you know, all being well, just snippet it, but move on. I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't tell the club what referee we're going to do next. So. Mm. I will not have surprised me really. Um, it kind of like what Dave was saying earlier is that you didn't know what referee were going to do, 
And no. that probably altered how we played our how we approach because you think, oh Christ, yeah. if I do a bit of a dodgy one, I might end up with red. And it, again, game's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be a big loss. Um, we had um miss, I think it's three games, is it, that he'll miss? Three, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I hope they do appeal it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a big miss. And yeah, like, like you quite rightly said, that's going to. Uh, impact us um, all due respect to uh, his replacement which will probably be or will it be probably Lakesh or somebody or I don't know but mm. Uh, mm. He's, he's been playing brilliant, uh, brilliantly at Cadden um, I, I think if you know he kept on all the way through 90 minutes I think it'd have been my man at match but uh, yeah it, it, it's things like that that uh, you know your club's Financial um, position and also league position uh, is in uh, inconsistent referees. Um, it was just I'm going to say frustrating again, like it was with Burton. Um, it probably was really, to be honest, yesterday. Um, and yeah, it, it atmosphere was just flat. It just match game. I thought, but yeah, it it, it was a strange one. Um, but yeah, we, we we need to appeal that red card, and I hope to God we get it overturned. Hmm. Get it overturned. I mean, like I say, it's a win, so it's not all doom and gloom. Not best performances, and I think even Duff's called it out as that as well. Not a great performance, want at races, but we got to win. And every stage mm. of the season, look at other teams around us. I think if it's Drew as well, and you know, yeah. uh, Plymouth, you know, uh, but, results and that. So we can. We can't take Forest Green lightly as well because I think Wednesdays did that and they got turned over, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, they've got everything to play for still. So, yeah, it's going to yeah. be tough. We've got to approach it in right mindset and that. Um, mm. Just before I end the show as well, I just want to give a shout out to Nicky Eden as well. I don't know if you've seen it on Twitter, on, on feed, but uh, Chris Jackson, who we all know, um, I mean, situation with his in Chris Jackson in the wheelchair. He was a yeah. Brian Fort working men's club. Uh, after game, uh, day after game, sorry. Um, and the great touch by him, he, he went to meet him in Grand Fort Workingman's Club, uh, gave him a, a shirt and, you know, Nick Eden, a, a lad, a local lad, and don't forget his roots. So just a massive shout out for Nick Eden yeah. and uh, club for allow, allowing that to happen because, like I say, Chris Jackson, unfortunately, with accident and that, uh, cut his football career short, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a potential when he was younger. So, great shout out to Nick Eden, uh, club, and full respect for doing that. Uh, I thought it was a good touch, and yeah. it's like what Miles is all about community. And once read, always read, it's you care for your own. And uh, yeah, great shout out for that. So, yeah, yeah, Andy, James, and Dave, appreciate you taking time out and joining, having your thoughts. Unfortunately, it was. More or less about the referee, but he did have a massive impact on the game. He wanted races, he wanted performance, but it was a result. And at this stage of the season, we take that result 2 1. We move on to Forest Screen and Lincoln, two tricky away fixtures. We will be doing a preview for that. Uh, stop around and uh, we'll get one out and have your say on it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate it. Have your comments below. Let us know what your thoughts on the game are. Well, I think I know it's going to be bombarded about a certain uh, official in middle of the park. Uh, but yeah, as always, one thing left to say, you read.